Buzz, 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 and welcome to Busy Bees, part of the Make and Model eSports series. The Make and Model series allows students to challenge each other in a series of classic build battles, utilizing the creative functions of Minecraft to the full, and allowing children to stretch their imaginations and to build in a fun but time-pressured competition-based environment. Let's take a look around the Busy Bee arena. Below us is the spawn area split into two team colours, yellow and green. In the garden there are two beehives, each one has a build platform in the team's colours. The rest of the garden is fully explorable and made up of typical garden things like a massive watering can, a concrete gnome and lots and lots of nectar rich flowers, perfect for busy bees. As you can see the garden has a helpful bee population and each one can tell you a little bit more about the game we're about to play. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to dive straight in. But remember, you can check them out in the playbook or open the map and discover what they have to say for yourself. So let's set up and start a game. First, we need a theme and some players. For this game example, we are choosing a garden theme, but it could be anything. Now, here are the players. Next, let's decide how long we want the game to last. In the control panel next to the team areas, you can add or take away 10 minute increments using the blue and red button panels, or even add or take away minutes. Let's have a go. As you can see, when I press the add 10 minutes button, I get a visual notification in game of 10 minutes. I can press it again and it updates. If I press to take away, as you would expect, the timer updates. It also updates on the timer board next to the house. So when the teams are building, they can quickly see how much time they have left. This is a great feature, allowing you to create long or short sessions, depending on your schedule. So let's make the game last 12 minutes by adding two minutes. Next, get your players to stand on their team colors. If you have a large group who want to spectate, make sure they are standing elsewhere. Once we're in position, the host of the game can press the Start Game button on the green emerald block. The students' teams will immediately be teleported to their team platforms, and they can begin their competitive building. Each platform has an area of Build Allow blocks that allow the students to build. Let's see how they get on. Okay, the timer is coming to an end. When the timer ends, we all get a notification and a small new timer on our screens appears. This is the voting time. We have a couple of minutes to look at each other's work and decide whose is better. We do this by standing on the glass area next to each hive. When a student stands on the area, the team score updates on the scoreboards. If you're live streaming and or don't have enough students in the game to vote for, then you can use armor stands instead. Make sure you're in teacher mode by using the command forward slash WB. Placing an armor stand on the glass area acts the same as a student standing there and the score will update accordingly. Once the voting time ends, the scores are tallied and the winning team gets fireworks. <laughs> Congratulations to the winning team. Once the game has finished, you need to reset to play again. But first, you might want to use the structure block to export the team's creative builds. Simply click on the block and press export. You can learn more about this in the playbook. And then remove any armor stands from the glass voting areas. And finally, go back to the control panel and press the game reset button. And you're ready for the next round. When the students start a new game, they can clear the previous build with a click of a button found at the back of the build platform. And that's it. We hope you and your students enjoy the make and model Busy Bee Arena. And remember, the Busy Bee has no time for sorrow. <laughs>